sick as you be sick. What is up, everybody? Thank you for checking out the Duder Man Home Girl Podcast. The DMHB Pod. We're all here, chilling on a Saturday. Special edition, early edition. Uh, I'm Patrick Christopher. We got Jacob Flores, Scott Ramos, and Lando Shepard. Yeah. yeah. What up, homie? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, thank y'all for having me. No, thanks for Lando's coming. one of the man, funniest man. comedians out of Austin. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Dude. That's that's what that's what you call real friends, man. Real friends lie for you. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro. Man. To tell you the truth, we I were supposed say- to do a show together. <laughs> oh, we're the four of us. Okay. In uh, Bay City, but I think something you remember, and I think oh, you got to go to like yeah, North yeah, Carolina yeah, or something. Yeah, I was going to North Carolina. I mean, and Marcellus was great, but yeah. it would have been it would have been dope to have the four of us. Yeah. Oh, you would have had a blast. <laughs> 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 they would have loved you, your energy, yeah. man. Like it was, it was fun, but it was a bar show. It was cool. The owner was cool as f- the crowd. Yeah. Uh, because it was, it was, I, it was fun. Get paid though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they, was they frying chicken wings in there? Didn't uh, eat most likely. Didn't yeah. eat. I don't think didn't so. Eat? Oh. Nah, nah. but food, I think. they did take care of us. So they had, I mean, yeah. we were drinking. We were drinking on the house. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Lucky's, right? Irish, Lucky's, Lucky's Irish Lucky? Pub. Pub. Was yeah. It called? Yeah. 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 But that, that would do him no good. Oh, you, hey, if you don't drink, the bar's yeah. open. You can have whatever, whatever alcohol you want in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Everything oh, yeah. coming out the water faucet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like oh, give me a water, the coldest water you got. Coldest water, filtered three times. Distill it for me. Oh, are you picky with it? Are you a food? Yeah. Are you a water yeah. water hog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah, man. I really like. I'm I'm that dude that likes uh Voss water. Yeah. Only if it's in a glass. Oof. Mm. Oh, the like, bottle, ooh. the yeah, glass bottle. Yeah. If they Very give classy. me the plastic Voss, Miss I'm like, with- ah, man, I boot that thirty five. I'm like, <laughs> man, get that. <laughs> Yeah, my I've already trash. seen that. I've never, uh, I've never tried it. This seems to. Uh... It tastes like rainwater. Oh, you had it before? Yeah. No, no. You be no. drinking rainwater? You're out there? Uh... Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, there's cups, dog. You just go like that. You... Oh, I guess I'm uh, taking it in the face. Yeah, man. Uh... I heard this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you when you said rainwater. I imagine you standing outside with your mouth open. Pause. Hey, man. Whatever you got to do. That ain't me. You got the wrong one. I just remember the boss when uh, from uh, what is it? Was it Grown Ups? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grown Ups. When he's like, uh, boss, boss water, water. Yeah. boss water. Yeah. Oh, it's it's, it's amazing, bro. Yeah, man. Just first pre break. We just started. First pre break. Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna take a piss. Dog. So I had to do. I did. Uh, you know, um, Alonzo Cantu. No. Had to do the BFI podcast. Alonzo good too. Shout out. Uh, bad first impressions. Okay. He ta- he took two piss breaks. Yeah. First one, he didn't want to leave the room. He didn't want to be disrespectful. Did it in his kitchen sink. Oh. No. I was like, dog, what are you doing? He's like, no, it's fine. I'll be real quick. I was like, dog, stop looking at me when you're doing that. <laughs> and like, he made I, eye contact. I had to because Bob Dell was there, and I was like, Bob, look at me. We're like, we got to focus on each other. We, 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 all we have is you each other right now. Like Bob Dutton focus. Yes. Yeah. 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 Imagine yeah. asking him to look at you. You look at you in the eye. For <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, Bob, Bob, we got to get through this. And okay, I was like, all right, you got to do what you got to do. He has a bathroom. The toilet works because he used it the second time. I was like, do you have dishes in there? Sure enough, he had dishes in there. Oh, mm. what? I was like, dog. <laughs> That's why you're single, bro. Yeah, <laughs> he's not. No, he so, is now. Oh, oh. <laughs> we were at his. We were at his new spot. Uh, spoiler oh, okay. alert! Spoiler, okay. alert. <laughs> that's, that's spoiler alerts. Uh, but yeah, fun guy. He's, he, I mean, we. I don't yeah, want to be pitch, disrespectful. Pissing in the kitchen sink. Yeah, yeah, he's fun. <laughs> I mean, I mean, oh, don't get it twisted. I've done it before, not in front of people, and not with dishes in the sink. No, oh, bro, he's he's the definition of a wild card. She got some hairy arms. That's a, he's the definition of a wild card. Yeah, he moves he, different for sure. Definition. He's mm. just a loose cannon. Yeah, but that's why you like him, you know. But I mean, like, if, yeah, yeah. That's if a, that's if, a slow year. <laughs> I think he was doing it for the bit. Like, he, yeah. I feel he was doing it for the bit. Like, if we weren't recording the podcast and he pulled that, shit, I'd be. What are you doing yeah. over there? But for the pod, I guess it's all right, whatever, man. But uh, yeah, thank for out. the views. Yeah, man. I would definitely not be doing anything like that for the views. Thank I you. Won't, I won't. appreciate that. If anybody here does, it's yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, I can see you. <laughs> I'm still gonna sleep over here. That's why Lando drinks bottled water, yeah. dog. Because doesn't that 
to go back in the system? Like, if you were getting some tap, like, what, like, if it goes down the sink, where does your piss go? Like, yeah, it's gotta be the same thing. It's gotta come back in the tap eventually, right? Yeah, does that mean it has to go through a filtering process, right? Sauce. San Antonio was water one of the system. first cities to ever put fluoride in water. Is that good or so, bad? That's bad. That's bad. Oh, make well, you, I don't drink. I don't drink tap water. Make you dumb. Yeah. Yeah. But I drink fluoride, cool water. It's fluoride in toothpaste though. Every, yeah. like, but it's, but it'll tell you. It'll tell you no more than a a, a, a pea size. Mm. A scotch. Yeah, a scotch <laughs> of fluoride. Not what the kind person, of unit of that, measurement that, is scotch? I grew up with close up, and they would they would have a whole like a little line there. Mm-hmm. It's like that's too much to, uh, fluoride. That's too much. Too really? Place. Yeah, you're just supposed to put like a little dab. Huh. Hmm. We're all we're all yeah. fucked. There, there's poison and everything. A yeah. dab will do you. But I don't think I don't think the sink. What goes down the sink comes out the faucet. It doesn't work like that. It's a whole completely different system. Are you sure? No, nah, it's, it's the same. It system. can't. Do you realize how much yeah, the same system, systems bro. it would have to be? Yeah. It's, gotta, it's just one giant. It's like the Matrix. Okay, it's one well, thing. I'm interested to know how you think it works. <laughs> what about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. For Dude, real. Tell I've me played that. years of Boom. fucking Mario Bros. All right? <laughs> I know pipes. Pause. But no, no. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> but no way. What kind of pipes? <laughs> Weed pipes, crack pipes. Yeah, yeah. What what kind of brown pipes. Yeah. Uh, Luigi. Uh, no, but no wait, because what about the dirty dishwater? The dirty dishwater doesn't come out the. That's the filtration shit. Get, yeah, it all goes to the treatment center. Oh yeah, but okay, yeah, it goes it gets treated, but I'm not. But you're saying like immediately. Then it like, comes right no, back around. No, not immediately. No, it's like when you on. swallow gum, it takes like seven years. No, but that, okay, that's but, why when you see in those neighborhoods, man, in those neighborhoods, they have the water that's being filtered. In yeah, those but little that's, ponds or whatever. That's somebody else's problem. No, that's your problem. It's not gonna come back to you. It's like, have you ever marked a dollar and then yeah. get that? You dollar know what's the weirdest part though about that? You know, is when you think about it, and then if it goes down like that, and then they tell you something like, uh, "New York has the best uh, water system." You're like, "How the fuck does New York has?" The There's best been water? conversations like, "Oh, yeah. New York has the best tap water." You know who yeah. has a really good tap water? Oddly Here's, enough, here we go, Detroit. No. Yes. Look it up. Flint is seventy five miles it, away. It, it, it just, it's different. It just like the, the the podcast has come to an end. No, for real. I swear. I swear on it. Hey, Everything you, after this is done. I <laughs> right, believe me. If you're coming here for facts, you're in the wrong place, dude. Oh yeah. shit. Someone fact check me and look that up. Because yeah. I know I'm telling the truth. No, you're not. You're not. I don't think so. I heard I heard uh Edward they got cancers. They got Eddie? cancers and shit in that water. No, Her- that's Flint. Flint, yeah. Michigan. That's like yeah. 75 miles away. They're not close. 75 is pretty close. Yeah, they, no, they can't have the same water 75 miles apart. Where the water coming from, though? Says so Hawaii. Hawaii, that's number two. Yeah, because it's, it's you know, Hawaii. it's waterlocked. Uh, vamp. No. But I think the sunshine, sunshine has a lot to do with uh, the purification of the water. And we got sun. And I wore these socks just for this podcast. Hell yeah! <laughs> so can the camera get those socks? Uh, yeah, we yeah. got them on not there. To, not to interrupt you from talking, but <laughs> all right. Some dope so, ass socks. according <laughs> to a 2023 CNBC article, oh, Kentucky old. has the best tap water in the United States with a score of 768 out of a thousand. That's why that whiskey be that so good. That whiskey good, yeah. Louisville water. It's, you know, that's yeah, there. And yeah, then yeah. some other notable cities include Des Moines, Iowa. Okay. Told you. El Dorado, Colorado. Okay. Hamilton, Ohio. Independence, some, Missouri. Some, Louisville, Kentucky. Memphis, Tennessee. And St. Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. No yeah, mention. A lot of races. No a lot mention. of races as yeah. uh, <laughs> places. <laughs> All those, I uh, mean, there might be a correlation yeah, to like it was Whitesville, city. Iowa. What was the other one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no lot Detroit, of, so you were wrong. I'm kind of not. A lot of Ku Klux Klan going on around here, bro. So I'm from sure. Coal of Florida has the worst tap water. Yeah, analysts say. How could that be the worst if Flint had people growing a third eye? Oh, Detroit! Detroit's tap water is considered the least drinkable among visitors in the city. Damn. Oh shit! Maybe I'll, <laughs> you could have been more wrong. Nah, that's wrong. wrong. You could have been more wrong. longer, dog. <laughs> Bro, that's on Rotten.com. <laughs> no, it's not. We'll figure uh, this out. Wow, dude! Fact checked. Yeah. In fact, I don't ever ask for a fact check, dude. Oh my goodness. You never ask for a fact yeah. check. Just say it with confidence. All right, that is. A, I mean, that is. A, it just says safe to drink, which isn't what I was looking for. All right, enough water talk. <laughs> enough water talk. Um, 
Can we just get what we were talking about earlier? Go ahead, bro. I'm okay, so are, are, are you from here? I got M&M's, man. I'm, I'm all right. Are you from San Antonio? No, I'm from Austin. I had two kids here, though. Oh, yeah. nice. I went to jail here. That's what that's. <laughs> All the bad stuff I happened went, here. I went, huh? I went through the pinto from here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it, Lando. Me and you are the only ones who done some hard time in this yeah, room. Yeah, man. You snowflakes wouldn't know what we're talking about. I've been detained once. <laughs> mm. I've been handcuffed and sat on the sidewalk. <laughs> I know I know the struggle, dog. Um I got that life in me. So wait, what what did you what did you get caught for? Um Allegedly. Convicted of uh, possession, possession okay. of a controlled substance, which is like one of the dumbest goddamn charges in yeah. the world. Especially, was it green? No, it was a uh, well, white. Holly. Soda. Soda. Coke. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, let's, <laughs> where would you um, where would you like trap out of? Scott loves present talk. Everywhere. Where was, where was the hottest spot? You didn't have a territory? You were just nah, going man, that's, that's one thing that I didn't ever understand about San Antonio. Stay on a corner? I don't believe in borders. Yeah, San Antonio <laughs> was very, like, like I was I lived on the east side, and when I would come to some somewhere like Lincoln Courts, they were like, oh, man, I don't go to Wheatley Courts, because that's where I stayed at for a minute. And then dude was like, I don't go to that side. Or, you know, you would, you would be in a... Um, Denver Heights, Denver Heights, and come to like the Calabria side and all that kind of shit. Yeah, like, y'all segregate yourself. Y'all know money is every goddamn one. Yeah, I don't understand. It's just, are you willing to go get it? Yeah, and I'm willing to go get it. See, it's hard to be a drug dealer when you don't have a car, and that was a problem I had. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Via is not friendly with the schedule. You gotta yeah. have a car if you're gonna be like. It looks good on the uh, the portfolio. But like it was, but it was good. The only time I, I would ever make like really good money when I sold. Was at parties, yeah. Well, because you you because I don't no, no 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 because <laughs> all right so all right there's Dope a, sell there's sell, four bro. people yeah. right three people were selling uh, were selling weed right so you got to fight with these three to see where you're gonna get your weed from I was the only one selling coke mm. so as soon as one person found out that it was me it was like oh let me talk to you real quick and then I, I would make some decent money doing it then mm. but you never made enough to buy a vehicle fuck no. That's Bro, crazy. all right. So I mean, I said it on stage as a joke, what not to do. Like <laughs> I, I said it as a joke. I said it as a joke. Like you know how they say, like don't get high on your own supply. Like I thought that was a suggestion. Mm. Like I did. I got really high on my own supply. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm clean now, ish. Yeah, yeah. You know what I miss though about those days, man, huh. is uh, getting on WW White and my old school. I had an old school uh, nineteen. 76 Oldsmobile 98 man it still had the skirts on it had original everything on it um original hubcaps I had to look a long way because when I got it man they had some like 13 13 inch McLean's on it so I was like I'm not fucking riding this shit I took <laughs> uh, that colors? shit off uh no it's a 98 yeah 76 Fact Oldsmobile, nah, nine, I just eight. See what it looks like. yeah. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, it's a long motherfucker. Ooh. I mean, like you can was put it a, a boat. Hole. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. It was a boat. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah. shit. I had what like color? A four pack. Uh, I had it was a uh, banana yellow. Banana yellow, huh? Banana you want to be like that? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, what nice. Yeah, that nice. looked like it right there. <laughs> that's that's nice. Probably <laughs> on auction right there. Mm-hmm. With that brown top and everything. Hell yeah, bro. Damn. That's rough. Yeah. Imagine how much it would cost to fill this that shit up look now. Like, that shit look like a, a, a love seat in the back seat, bro. Yeah. Look like a whole mm. fucking couch in the back, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So you got the four pack. I had the, uh, the no, I had a six pack in the back. I took it over there off of, um, God damn it, man. I can't even think of the street name right now, but it's over there where uh, LOL is. San Pedro? Say, San Pedro. McCullough, yeah. Blanco, all that. Yeah. Rector. So I took it over there, man. The dude said, oh, man, I want to, I want to, uh, personalize it, so he did it. He put like uh, six six by nines in the back. I had um, uh, four twelves in the back. What I man, I missed just cruising down W Dub, then hitting uh, Southwest Military. So, yeah, that's where the cruise park. was. Yeah, damn. And I would park over there. I had dual pipes on that motherfucker, <laughs> man. 
You know what I'm saying? So it'll be on and homies. I won like I won a couple hundred bucks, man, because the dude was like, "Hey, man, your lights on. Turn your uh uh turn your your car on. You know what I'm saying? Because your battery's gonna drain." I was like, "No, the car is on." He was like, "Nah, nah, it ain't. It ain't on." Like, yeah, it's on. How much you want to bet? And the dude said a number, and I open up the door and hit the gas. It be so. <laughs> so I told you, I'm gonna fuck on, bro. Just had the low pipes. You know what I'm saying, yeah, dude, man. it's different when you get in a car like with like speakers and a system. It's crazy. Like yeah. I recently, I remember that shit from when I was like a kid, and my brother had a system, and I haven't heard it like in years. Like a couple months ago, my coworker gave me a ride down the street somewhere. We went to the store or something, and he had a system, dude. It's insane. Like the bass yeah. is insane. I it's hate the ear so vibrations now. Yeah, I don't I'm like not, it. I'm not with it. I'm old now, bro. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a yeah. fan anymore. I'm like turn it down. <laughs> but I used to. I used to hate like when the trunk would rattle. I hate with the, the lights. I never rattle. rattle. I, never, I, I had all that shit done where yeah. it wouldn't do that. Yeah, the isolation. Yeah. You had like yeah. the felt. The, what do you yeah, call even, the felt? Because at first, even the the skirts, because the skirts would come off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had that done where he it would fast and tight tight enough. Well, even the skirts didn't even rattle. Oh Ooh. shit! Yeah, is that? Would you say that's your? Is that your your hottest car? You think? Uh, no, man. I had a uh, what was that, man? A, a 1995 uh, short body Cadillac. It had the the, the candy green with the thirties and Vols on it. Yeah. <laughs> how far? How is it a bitch to drive with them? What's the third? No, you talking about swingers? Yeah. yeah. No, oh, yeah. it is thirties and fours. Like when the it 30s, out? The, Yeah. What swingers? Swingers is the 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 elbows. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You never seen them like how they stick out yeah, like, like dude. that. I hate. I, that. I, I get afraid getting next to that. Yeah. yeah. Might as well have a car. So the so the so the eighty fours they kind of they kind of poke a little bit, but not like what mm-hmm. y'all see today. Yeah. Mm-mm. What y'all see today is like that's not what we was riding back then. It's almost like uh, the thirty spokes uh, Craigers. You know what I'm saying? So is is that but but a little poke, but not too much. And what is that for? Like to keep people away or to fuck people shit up? That's just like nah, uh, that's that's just a slab of culture, bro. You have, yeah, like, that's a slab. Yo, culture. it's not it's five not, bucks. It's not practical. Like I five bucks. Up, five man, bucks. I, go ahead, Pat. What does slab stand for? I have no idea. A slow loud and banging. All in my trunk. <laughs> but. But I grew slow, up, I grew up with the slow with loud the, and banging with slow the low riders, with the thirteen inch McLeans, with the with the chandeliers and shit like that, bro. You know, that's what I grew up with, the switches. Did you ever get that. like the... You were the pit my the ride room, before the pit my ride. The margarita machines in the back, <laughs> homie. You know what I'm saying? At a fish tank in the trunk, <laughs> yeah, dog. bro. Yeah, bro. That's what I grew up with, man. I mean, so... Did you ever rock like the the emblem in the front? You know what I mean? Like how it the bullet woman? The belt, what's it called? Oh, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The woman on the front yeah. with the, the grill? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. I started. I thought shit was getting crazy when I started seeing the Longhorns. The actual but, Longhorns. But, yeah. again, but again, man, I mean, the slab. The slab is basically a reflection of you. Yeah. So when I was in when I was in the short body, I was I was thin as a ten speed rim. You know what I'm saying? You Google the the seventy six nine eight. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was big big than a motherfucker, <laughs> man. When I came to Santa Tone, bro. I couldn't understand how people was broke here. I was like, <laughs> how the fuck is y'all broke? All this goddamn money out of here, dog. Like, wow, we just have fun too much. I think that's what it is. Man, the cost of living was cheap because I came out of here Bro, it's still in cheap. 2000, right? I came out of here in 2000. So the cost, of, the, the the rent was cheap. Uh, to go out and eat was cheap. I remember a spot over there off of, um, I think it's uh, San Pedro. Uh, no, it's uh, South Pressa. South Presses by Joe Pepe, Pepe's. It's not there no more because I was there not too long ago. I, I rolled through there and you can get, I don't eat swine, but you could get like a pork chop. You can get a uh, refried beans, rice, uh, tortillas for a dollar ninety nine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It used to be another spot too. You go all the way down towards uh, 
what's that mall um, on the south side? South Park. South Park. South yeah. Park Mall. Mm -hmm. It used to be a spot over there in that area too, man. It, I I never knew about uh, White Castles at that time, yeah. but they all told me this is like White Castles. Crystal. So you, you could get six hamburgers mm -hmm. for a dollar ninety nine, fam. Mm -hmm. So I was like, nah, how is these motherfuckers? That's, bro? But that shit right there. That's the cheapest laxative you can get. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the cheap. Yeah. White Castle is the cheapest laxative. Yeah. I, I, I remember, never. I've never, never had, had White Castle. I only had. I had it in Vegas. That yeah. shit cleaned me out. I think it was like Freddy's Burger Shack growing up. It was like, yeah, like fucking five burgers for a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, I still remember that. It was that's, ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Damn. Um, yeah, man. I don't really know days. much about like car culture and shit, but I used to like live in Houston for like a little bit of time, and just like every once in a while, uh, I like I lived in Katy, but whenever you'd go in the city, you'd see like a nice fucking car, and it's just like it's dope as fuck, like to admire and look at. Yeah. Like it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I went through a little phase in high school, like buying like Lowrider magazines. I <laughs> do. Still trying to figure <laughs> yeah. it out, listening to Kid Frost and shit. I was like, yeah, what about <laughs> I that? Remember the all about magazine. that life, dog. I wanted to probably write everything every in old English. That was on the I, cover. I did, dude. Every hole on the cover. Later, dog. I that might have well been a porno mag, dude. I was just like, yes. Just like, I was like covering. Up like that, just with one finger. Yeah, I was a little homie before little homies were little homies, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little big Fucking homie doing that. <laughs> Gotta stitch up my khaki, yeah. you know, like shit like that, dude. I was about to, like for a minute. I was about, to, and then I was like, I can't keep up with this, dude. I don't even. You don't had know, this to pleat it. You had you had the pleated joints. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah, come on, man. Hey, I was trying it out, man. I was trying to figure. He it was out, finding. Man. He was finding his inner pat. Find my. Yeah, <laughs> he was Find tapping my, into uh, his inner trollo. <laughs> It is inner trollo. Trollo, dog. My first introduction to San Antonio was me coming down with some homeboys that had here to, to visit some uh, Latin kings in San Antonio. Mm. That was my first, my very first time coming to San Antonio. Nah, man. What was it? A sketchy situation? Thinking back, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it was. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, thinking back, yeah. <laughs> But but the, it was just the the whole, you know, the black and brown unity though. Homie, yeah. you know what I'm saying. The the five points, you know, unified man. You know, from the Latin Kings to the to the Bloods and and all that right there. So, but then when I got older, I older and then I found out that all oh, San Antonio is in me, and Austin is Texas Seneca. I was like, oh shit. Then I go to Prison, and then you got you got a uh, Tongo blast. <laughs> That's Houston, right? That's Houston, yeah. Austin, uh, uh, the Valley. Uh, I'm missing something. Damn, it's I don't a know four horsemen. Yeah. So you got Vayuco, you got Austin, uh, Houston, and I forget it's another spot. But anyways, yeah. So you, it was just different levels of it from a yeah. from a kid, from a teenager. Uh, 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 street banging or whatever you want to call it, and then growing up, and it's like, oh, this shit, this, this shit's getting thick, thick. What, what like the real of it? Yeah, yeah, like it's getting thick, and you can just see the homies is falling by the wayside. Like, what's up with Carlos? And you know what I'm saying? Oh man, he got fucked off. But you know now, no now we're blasting homes. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. What 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 year did you graduate high school? Uh, I was supposed to graduate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to like, how, how old are you? I'm 44 now. 44? Yeah. So you're not that much older than me, but like that's a completely different world that I was yeah. I even knew about. I just saw this yeah. stuff like in the movies and TV, but you're talking about like you yeah. lived it, yeah. and I was like, damn, yeah, dude. I'm Patty was dressing like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. He, he was getting mistaken game. identity. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, fool? Like, oh, no. Yeah. Not me. Not me. Ain't. <laughs> your, your culture was my costume, bro. I was just I'm on my way to math he was, class. He was playing yeah. Halloween in July. Yeah, <laughs> Pat did start his own game, though. He uh, did. I did. I did. Oh, I yeah, tried. Yeah, yeah. It didn't work out. No. What was it, man? Tell the world, Pat. Oh, I played it. That was a whole, a whole big story. Like, fifth grade, I moved from public school to private school, and everybody uh, everybody thought like I was a new guy because they were all like in the same class since the public, kindergarten. The public school, Vato. Yeah, yeah he's like, oh, he's, yeah. he must be trouble. So everybody thought I was in a gang, and I just, I didn't correct them. I never, I never said that I was. I just didn't tell them I wasn't. Mm. <laughs> and then one guy wanted to get rolled in, and then he wound up kicking my ass. And then, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who'd you get your ass with, bro? He had older brothers. It wasn't fair. Oh. Pat did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, man, you better not get. 
got beat up by the dude with the green belt in karate. <laughs> I don't know what he had. Work this shit out. I didn't, I didn't check his resume before, <laughs> but all, all I know is like been watching karate yeah. kid and shit. You know, <laughs> he didn't have his application in. Yeah, I watched karate kid too. I was like, <laughs> who's doing the fucking wax on, wax off? The fucking crane dog. I was like, let's get it. Ah, oh, and then he kicked my ass. Uh, and then I start. I. I Quit the gang like dude. I dropped my <laughs> I dropped my rag, dog. Like, I'm not with this shit, man. You gotta do this shit like every day. No, it was so it was so bad. It was cause I started cause like I was like, we're gonna roll you in. He was like, Can I fight back? I was like, I wouldn't I wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite line? Go ahead. I was like, I wouldn't power you. And uh, <laughs> we go at it and I'm getting him pretty good and then he switches on me and I'm like, time out, time out, time out, time out. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a real gang. Don't act like I, oh, you let your people down. Like I didn't have people. Like, I made it all up. It was a one man gang. It was a one man gang. Yeah, gang. Yeah. 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 Uh, but that's, yeah, that's, that's dope. <laughs> that's man. as I close as that. I got. Do you to remember it. who who it was? Oh, I know exactly who it was. Are y'all friends? I mean, I I have nothing to get. We were friends afterwards, but I mean, I don't. You haven't kept up. No, I have no yeah. idea. Most no. of my friends, we got we we had fist fights at first. That's how y'all got cool. Yeah, we Dang. was like, I bro, mean, bro. We, we cool to this day, man. I mean, we, I go back to the hood, man, and be talking to the homies and be like, man, remember we fought on the side of uh, Butty's house, and they're like, yeah, man, that shit was wild in the motherfucking. And you just got different stories, like, yeah. You know, an ESG tape. You know, remember we fought over that ESG tape? Wow. Like, yeah. Dude, I was just listening to ESG. Yeah. Like, I was still listening to, like, Southside Still Holding okay. and swinging and banging and shit okay. like that. What's ESG? It's a rapper. Music. Yeah. Oh, that's just it? It's yeah, like, it's, it's one guy. E you know what? He, uh, he... What's ESG stand for? I forget. I don't every, know. every day street every gangster. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> stand for everything. That's what that sounds about right. I think that's what it but is. But he just, I think he headlined LOL. Yeah. ESG? Yeah. He, he lost his leg not too long ago. No, oh, to the street. Diabetes? Yeah, I, think, I don't know what it is. He had, he had I mean, he's a big ass dude. Yeah, he's not big no more. Oh, for real? That's good. Yeah. I did a show. I did a show out in, um, it wasn't LaGrange. What the fuck was this show at? And it had him and Point Blank on the show. And uh, I was excited. Yeah, Everyday Street Gang. Yeah, that's what it is. Everyday street gangster. Yes, right. Right. He's fact checking over there. But. No, no, no. <laughs> Somebody asked. I was going to show who it was, but we didn't have a picture. <laughs> I love when those people here at the show, they were like, no, it's not that. It's such that I'm like, hold the fuck. Google, bring nah, your I'm ass not, yeah. to the stage. I'm not trying to fact check. I'm like, this is just dope knowledge. <laughs> it's all good. Right, that's what, that's what, this is how big he stage. was. Yeah, he's smaller oh, okay. than that. Oh, now, him? Bro. Oh, I know him. I know. Yeah, he's smaller than that. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know if that's, I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he just went through some changes, man. Damn, that's good. I, well, hey, bro, we get old, man. That's what people don't bro, realize, I stopped, man. We get older, bro. I, mm -hmm. st I mean, I stopped doing a lot of shit now. I lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, it man. Sucks. All that, all, man, when I was when I was down here, man, with my kids, man, uh, that's all I did was, and this this was in two thousand, man, before Dro was popular. Yeah. You know, before mm -hmm. that, man, mm -hmm. it was uh, I was smoking. Uh, nah, I was smoking kind, but that's what I was on. What is that? Kind it's like Reggie, is, like, but it's more more potent. It's yeah. potent, and yeah, mm -hmm. it'll it get you where you go. Tie stick. That's what I was on. See, it's tie stick. Well. <laughs> yeah. But in two thousand, I was twelve. Twelve push to thirteen. Word. Yeah. Man, I was out there fucking these hoes. <laughs> 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 I was, I was running, trying. I was, I was running through these holes like a running back, fam. Hey, <laughs> truck man, stick. Shit. Truck stick. Oh, man. When my kid's mom found out that I was in San Antonio, she was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I was like, what's up? Like, you like Mexican hoes too much. I'm going to come in. And <laughs> Mexican hoes. Derek Henry numbers. It's just like, like yeah. <laughs> thousand yard seasons. All right, how long yeah. did you live here? I lived here for two years. How many did you run through? Man, I can't even count, bro. <laughs> but I was in and out before then because my parents actually moved here before that. I just came down here. They're from uh, Austin? Yeah. My, or they came from my, Austin? My mom is actually from uh, Orange, Texas. Take that oh, wow. back. It's not, it's not Orange, Texas. She's from Crowley, Louisiana. And um, that's That can't be that far from each other, right? Because I know Orange uh, is one of the last cities like Vitor. It is the last city. It is, is it? Yeah. yeah before it's the last city before you hit Louisiana. Yeah. So um uh Crowley is like on the other side near near Lafayette. Okay. I'm saying yeah, near Lafayette. My stepdad, man, who I call my my parent as well, 
Uh, my dad, he's from uh, Longview. Oh, um, shit. Yeah. I always thought that was a big Mexican ass place. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Mexicans there. Well, it's Texas. I mean, fair yeah. enough. And then, uh, so did you go to school here? Or you, were you, nah, you already an adult? Yeah, I was already. Doing whatever you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. what, what, like, what do you remember about going to the strip and shit? What do you mean? The strip, the like strip. the St. Mary's strip? Um, St. Mary's. Where, I remember, uh, I remember um, St. Mary's had a, a drive-in. You know shit. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, they had a drive-in. You go all the way out. You go all... No, that's uh, that's Roosevelt. Roosevelt yeah, had yeah, yeah. In. But don't St. Mary's turn into Roosevelt? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. does turn into Roosevelt. Yeah, right outside yeah. of downtown, but yeah. Yeah. You're a uh, so you you mentioned like being older and stuff now. You got a couple of kids. Like, do you like have a wife or like a, you have a girlfriend? Nah, or are you still nah. run through hoes? Or still run through <laughs> we want to we want to know that old man. Yeah, game. the old man game. Yeah, what's, yeah. what's your game? What's your? I got no game. Hey, at you know all. what? What I've what's come to understand, man, is I write and, and I get approached by these young people, and they say, "Oh man, you're old." It's something about when they say you're old. It, it kind of translates to me that they're saying, "Oh, you got some shit." Yeah, like experience. Like, yeah, like you got. <laughs> I, some shit. I took that. Like, I, I, you know when saying? I told like, him what I wanted yeah. to talk about, I meant that as a compliment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, like, you lived a life. You lived. Yeah, like, especially man, if you're still you still running through like, it. It's like, oh man, you old, but if you know, yeah, man. I mean, yeah, but but it's a difference. Like I, I did. It used to be a mic here, um, a variety mic. And I remember coming down here. It was on Sunday nights, man. Uh, I think Jamal was running it. Uh, Alejandro? Dude? Yeah, the big-ass yeah. black dude? Yeah. He was running it, man. Pope. So one night, Pope man, you. it had switched. It used to be on uh, St. Mary's. Uh, I remember Roosevelt it off 281. Too. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By Geavers. You know Geavers? You know what Geavers? I mean, not Geavers. That's not Geavers. Geavers is by Wheelie Courts. Anyways, man, he used to one, run one that was over there by the juvenile detention center. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's uh, that? Steve, Steve, Frankly, uh, Steve, uh, right? Frankie Diablos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember Diablo. Frankie Diablos. It's a yeah. church now. It's a church. Now. It's a church now. <laughs> Frankie yeah. Diablos yeah. is a church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be a mechanic spot. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're always towing cars over there. But uh, he had one. He had moved it. It was somewhere else. Anyways, man, this is older comic there. And uh, he did great that night, man. So after the, after the show, or whatever, we sitting there chopping it up, man. He's in his forties at the time. I had just started, man. I think I'm thirty six or thirty seven. I started late, so um, I started late too. So we're talking, and I'm like, oh man, you know, I gotta go. It's a Sunday night. He used to hold those shows on Sunday night, so I'm like, oh man, I gotta get back to Austin. Um, I got to work in the morning. Da, da, da. I say, man, you straight, man? You straight to drive? And he like, oh, man, I'm not driving. I'm waiting for my roommate to come pick me up. I'm like, whoa, whoa, we've been sitting here talking for an hour and a half. You skipped over a lot of shit on me. Yeah. Like, Where did you fuck up in your life <laughs> where you need a goddamn roommate? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, if yeah. I'm going to pursue this comedy shit, man. I, I need, need to, know to know everything. Yeah, I need yeah. to know everything, man. Not <laughs> yeah. just how, how to construct a goddamn joke. Yeah, yeah. To, how to not I need the dark you, side of this yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah bro. Because like, I do not want to end up like you, bro. Like, I, it, was just, it was like, but I mean, maybe it was offensive, but it was just me being honest at the it's time. It's just a, yeah. a state of mind. You know I mean, what I'm I, saying? So, because, because the way my life was going at the that time it reminded me of the old me and i was like i gotta stop this shit because i know where this shit can go yeah you, you get too invested yeah. in there's you know, yeah you saw the path yeah i got one tdc number i don't want another yeah one. so i'm like you know go over that man and then you know that's when i started kind of kind of vision to recovery that's when i was like okay man i gotta get clean i gotta get my life together is that what you, you know st- like starting to get ugh Start getting ready to stop drinking and everything yeah. else. Yeah, because it was it was it was getting crazy, though. It was, you was pouring up a lot. Okay. Yeah. Nice. No shit. How long yeah. have you been like sober for? Uh, next month on uh, September the thirtieth, it'd be six years. Oh fuck six yeah, dude! Years. Damn, yeah, man. love a good turnaround story, so, man. I didn't know this shit about you. Did you did you turkey it? It's pretty cool. No, man. I actually uh, so I've been doing stand up for eight, and uh. 
because I wasn't using before I started doing stand up. So back to what you were talking about, being older, I didn't fit in, especially being in Austin. Mm -hmm. I didn't fit in with a lot of these motherfuckers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even, like now, even, even now, I still don't feel like I'm a part, but mm -hmm. I'm a part. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so which is cool with me. Yeah, you know, man. I still get booked. I mean, like, I ain't got to kiss nobody's ass. You know, I ain't got to rub nobody, you know. Yeah, but you, I mean, also, you're funny as fuck. That, so, that can't hurt. So I felt like, how could I get in with these kids? And then I started, I started sipping, man. I just started drinking and drinking led to the other thing. And then, like I say, man, I was in that, I was in that life again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I always thought, man, if I'm a use, I'm a use and I got to buy in bulk. Yeah. Because if I'm, <laughs> if I'm going and no offense, homie, like, like if I'm buying from somebody like you, the old me will tap in and be like, well, I can rob him. <laughs> I can get all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why, why I get like, one for five? Yeah. But I can get 30 for why, free. Yeah. Why Why get this motherfucker my money, dog? <laughs> Fuck him, dog. You know what I'm saying? Wait. He should know better. What are you going to do? Come back and get me? Dare him. Man, bro, when I, when I look at these dudes that be selling now, I be like, man, you motherfuckers be on the. Man, you hoes would be yeah. fucking food for me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, see There's you some do, people Y'all so at. comfortable. You just sitting there hey just man, comfortable. Hey, man, I got some drugs. Yeah. You want to buy some? You know what I'm saying? 10, 10, 20 grand just sitting there like oh. nobody's going to take it. We're going to pick it like, up from Tyler like later. What? <laughs> you want to come by? Like, what, bro? Like, you just got you just got this money just sitting there like motherfuckers ain't hungry. Yeah. There's people out there hungry, fam. That will do a lot worse. You know yeah. what I mean? That are willing to go yeah. an extra mile that you're not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I would I would take shit like that just to show a motherfucker like you ain't supposed to be in this game, fam. Get out. Dang. Get out. Get now. out, though. Yeah. Love that. Oh man, you gonna take But that? what's crazy yeah. is that's yeah, like the nicest that. thing you could have did. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, dog, what you gonna do? You fam? did a favor. <laughs> Realistically, yeah, yeah. like, all right, he just, fucked you, but the next guy's gonna like shoot you. Somebody asked me, man, how did you think my set was? <laughs> Trash. Yeah, <laughs> it's garbage, dog. Like, when when are you coming out? You know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you were standing here right there. now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You, you left yeah. where they called your name, and you went up there and was like, Who yeah, the fuck was so, that? Yeah, yeah. Be you, dog. You going? You paying all that fucking money to go to therapy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you just had therapy up there, fam. Uh huh. <laughs> That was that was your time to fucking work it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because laughter is a sign of relating. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you relating to this shit. So that's why people be laughing. Like, you oh yeah, I did money. some dumb you shit see? like that before. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You know. That's why that's why I ask that sometimes. We're like, who's going to therapy? And they're like, me and yeah, me. I was like, we finna <laughs> fucking find out. <laughs> we finna find out, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm finna go dark, motherfucker. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shit, talk about fading to black, bitch. That's what we finna do. We finna fade to black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. Uh. <laughs> see what the hell you you know you just giving this motherfucker money dog I can't oh, see that man. dog me sitting on the couches so how does that make you feel Lando <laughs> bitch I'm on the couch motherfucker how the fuck you think I feel terrible I'm afraid I'm scared <laughs> hyperventilating and shit what the fuck is you talking turn that goddamn water off I hate that shit <laughs> that shit that little soothing sound that shit that turn that shit it off, man. I don't oh. I feel like that's torturing me, dog. You it's supposed to be soothing. Yeah, turn it's that a, shit off, dog. I don't want to hear that soft. shit. I don't want. I don't want to hear no fucking squirrels playing. Cause sometimes no. they had a little birds chirping and shit. Turn that shit off, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Soundproof this whole motherfucker, man. Dude, that's For a real. great. That's a great transition. Cause, uh, like, what do you think? Like, is obviously you've, you've, you know, you would rob me. But what's like, uh, <laughs> what, know, what's man. the? What do you think is like the softest trait about you? Like, you're a father. You know what I mean? I think like being a father. The well, softest like, thing yeah, is like, what's that. The softest thing about is you? that I sing in the morning. <laughs> I fucking love what? it. What? what? I sing, I whistle. <laughs> All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, lately I've been whistling, uh, um, uh, I wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> And it's, I practice Islam, so that's, that's a mind fuck for you, you know what I'm saying? So, 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Oh, oh man. So, but yeah, man. I mean, when if I you die, tell me you I, skip, I, bro, if you tell me you skip, bro, will you do it? I will. I will. <laughs> I'm a I'm a Austinite to the core, fam. What's up? Uh oh, we, we froze. Oh, uh, all right. So the softest Justin. thing about you <laughs> is whistling. Technical error. Technical error. In the morning, yeah. And singing in the morning. Yeah. Okay. See, like me, like it's weird. I like. Like Wait. those gay ass like Christmas movies, like the Lifetime ones. Okay. okay. I get high, I get high and I just watch the shit out of them. <laughs> like this Christmas with like Chris Brown mm. and shit. Like that's no, cool. no, 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 no. Like the country the singer had to move back cheesy, to Nashville. Yeah. Or like yeah. some Tim Allen. Like I don't know who that is. Like they, Santa Claus. They had been no. estranged for a while and yeah. went off to the city, started a new life, and they had to come back, back home. And then they see they crush. It's like, oh, that's the Darryl, shit. Daryl, you've been here the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, and I've been cutting your mom's grass. I was also here. <laughs> now I'm ready to cut yours. And then, he, and then he's over there with his shirt off or whatever. It's like, oh my God, I forgot how fat. And then how he fine has Darryl a girlfriend. Was. <laughs> he has a girlfriend that she knows is no good for right. him. And then yeah. they break up. And no, then they work she, it out. She, she usually has the, the shitty boyfriend. Yeah. Because mm. he's the city slicker. Yeah. There's a problem. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah you feel yeah. me? I've been, I've been watching the fuck out of them movies, bro. There, they, bro. They're over there picking picking fruit or some shit. They're like, <laughs> Real oh good wedding God. singer yeah. situation. He's like, taste this. And it's mm. one of those scenes where oh, I haven't tasted it. <laughs> and like, Let me get that for you. It got something on your mouth. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. That's such, I'll be like, change that shit. I'm too tough. <laughs> fuck that. I'm too tough. <laughs> oh. Bro, I've been watching the fuck out of them movies for it's real. It's almost like that, uh, that movie, uh, what is it um, cloudy with a chance oh, of meatballs? meatballs. What he said, "Get back up in there! Get back up in oh, there!" Oh, still tear the Native yeah, American tear. Yeah, yeah. Like, Go right back, back up. There. Yeah, that's weird too, man. Um, uh, having kids, having kids that they train you on watching these animated films, and then they get older. They get older, right? And they don't want to go to, to the animated films yeah. anymore, but they've trained you so well. Now you want to go see Despicable Me you know, <laughs> 3 or whatever. You want to see what happens. Now you're, you're sitting in there in the looking like you're a pedophile. Invested. Now you're sitting in there looking like a pedophile and shit. It's like, oh, fuck. Oh, no, it's, it's spring break weekend. What the <laughs> fuck? No, I was watching <laughs> Bluey at work today. Like, it was on oh, one yeah. of the TVs. It was a cartoon. My son loves it. And, like, I was watching it, too. It's like, it's actually pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good storyline. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm and he, there. he's five. So, like, he's already going through that phase where, like, he doesn't even like old shit that he used to like anymore. Like, yeah, he used to love Mighty I Mike. I hate that. Now you're like <laughs> Scarface. Yeah, yeah. Blood in, <laughs> blood out. Yeah, I hate that shit, bro. Little Foot, man. I went and Little watched foot. Little Foot, all that yeah. shit. I was like, man, this is dope. They think <laughs> this shit right here, like they just made up all these rules, huh? Yeah, that's that's how, kind of like our government right now. <laughs> huh? This bullshit, huh? Uh, so I was supposed to watch it. That's another thing, too, man. The other night I was like, dude, you know, what's up with this crowd work shit where people come to the shows and you want to blurt out shit? I feel talk about, about it. How, talk, talk about, about it. The, uh, the political thing that's going on right now. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, I really don't care. You got to have, like, like, something general. This is a rerun, dog. Like, do Taco like, Bell. You she's been saying? here the last three years. That motherfucker was over here four years. Like, can we get a new candidate? Like yeah. I'm gonna scribble, there's I'm a scribble Pat's name in my ballot. I'm be like, Pat. go for it, man. I need a job. I need a job, dude. Go for it. No, it's, Cause I don't know shit about politics. I don't care. Yeah. I'm not invested. You like, don't? I do. I, I, I mean, I, I donate. I donate to both parties. Do you really? Especially <laughs> yeah. judges. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Are you ever? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I donate even if it's like ten bucks to their campaign. You know, because I don't know if and when I'm in there. In case something happens, yeah. yeah. I'm like, hey, man. That's called a hey, force. Remember that favor I gave you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I donated your fucking campaign. Look, I, I gave you just 10. I just all need one favor. Yeah, that's I, it. Covering all the bases, man. So that's that's damn the right, bro. That might be fucking genius. Yeah, bro. That's so I, I vote local, bro. I really don't care about the presidential election. Well, I, it feels like that's more of like what, what could be changed. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. yeah. The, the change is more like because I'm always home. like, like what they got to do with the price of weed in the hood? Like, is yeah. that, does price that really? Like, that's, what, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> what's that got to do with the price of tea in China? <laughs> I've never heard of oh, weed in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the tea in China. See, that don't even affect me, fam. Like, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here, dog. What's the weed in the hood? You know what I'm, no, like, I'm asking what's going to affect yeah, me, yeah, really, like, right here, dog. Why are these flautas two dollars extra yeah. today? Yeah, yeah dog. like what's going <laughs> on with this shit? Well, yeah, dude. Yeah, All right, so we were talking about what, what what was your DOC? Free them? 
Free yeah, good. I feel free. Yeah, free, bro. Free was always like mine. whatever. Whatever it was to stop me from feeling the way I was feeling at that moment. Like, dude, how uh, hard was it for you to get clean? Uh, this time very hard. Um, the other times have been easy because I just went to jail. So it was like All they right. forced you to get yeah. clean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like you know, and even sometimes with that man, it was kind of because I didn't know, I didn't know, um, drink was a was a drug. I didn't know that it was a form of heroin until I got locked up, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like that body? Bruno shit. Yeah, because I grew up like right now they got like they they split it up for y'all nowadays. But when I was growing up, you had you had bar right, which was promethazine and codeine. It was already mixed. Yeah. So you could just pull up. Yeah, all we have is codeine now. Yeah, Trust me, you know I know. Saying? So we had promethazine and codeine. So you would sip that shit and be like, "Man, I be." I remember being at Fud Ruckers and it was like, "Dog, they got a, they got a steak at Fud Ruckers." It had me calling my homeboy like, "Did you know <laughs> Fud Ruckers had a steak?" I, I'll say this too, man. A lot of people don't know this, but Nestle Crunch came out with a Nestle Crunch <laughs> with a caramel in it. And I, you were talking about St. Mary's. I remember being at the convenience store on St. Mary's and opening up one and biting it in, biting it. I was like, oh, it got caramel in it. I went and grabbed the whole box. You know how they got the whole box yeah. in it? I went and dumped it out on the, on the thing and I bought every last one of them. I'm like, man, I want all of them. I'm saving them. I want all of them joints. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. High purchases. Yeah. So wait, are you are you kind of like some of that like if one is good, three is better? Goddamn right. Hell yeah. <laughs> what That's my That's problem. What, That's why I was like, man. Like with why? drugs, if, oh. one, if you do one line of coke, you know what's better? Three lines of coke. Okay. So I figure, I figure like, okay, man. So the price, the price is that here, right? But I, I got gas. I got a driver's license. I can drive. I can meet people. Yeah. I can buy in bulk. So, you know, for every, <clears throat> say, like, for every ounce, seven grams go to me. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I can step on it, whip it, and still sell it. Because at the time, man, San Antonio had a problem. They wasn't, they wasn't getting no pure shit here. Yeah. And it was like, oh, man, it's close to pure. So as long as you just didn't cut it that much. Yeah, I didn't cut it that much. <laughs> With seven grams, how much would you cut? Were you oh, the seven grams is mine. Oh, that's what you used. So you just cut yeah. the other 21. Yeah. Okay, shit. So the seven is mine. Oh, you're doing pure. Everyone yeah. else ain't doing <laughs> yeah. pure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got damn right. <laughs> you get it now. You do about it's 80%. Backwards, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you had to slow down. So we can get <laughs> My fault. Yeah, man. That's hilarious to be and like. And back in 2002, here's another fun fact. Back in 2002. <laughs> Is that you kids, the, the younger generation talk about Reggie, man. But I remember Reggie was like, it, that shit went up to like $600 a pound. Wow. That yeah. seems like a lot for Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't that's know. what you yeah, yeah. Be, Because before then, it was like $1.75. You know what I'm saying? You can get it for 175 That's what I've heard. Like people were getting like, they went ounce. up. But then that was the, that was the great uh, transition. Because that's when Dro came in heavy. That's when Cali uh, legalized weed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you I'm know. So I remember when Cali, when Cali started coming here, it was like 20 a gram, 25 a gram. Mm -hmm. It was crazy ass prices. You couldn't, I mean, it would get you fucked up, but it was it was only good for one day. Mm. Now I have NorCal somewhere around here. I got, I think I got an ounce for like 120 the other day. No, oh, hell yeah. That'll, that'll get me where I'm going for a little bit. So you prefer Cali or or uh, Oregon weed? Just I just try to get high. Yeah. Whatever puts nothing up my nose, I'm happy. Okay. Okay. I never banged though. I never I never shot up. No, I've smoked a lot of shit. Back in the days, man, they had an <laughs> epidemic in in, in Fort Worth. Motherfuckers, youngsters was doing baskets, dog. It was What's speedballing. Baskets? It was speedballing. Was that H and Coke? Yeah. Yeah. That's how a lot of. That's how like. What's his name? I don't know. I'm lost yeah. with Pat. What's Shoot, the? Are you like shooting it? Like no. What's the? What's yeah. Mitch? That's how Mitch Hedberg died. Yeah. With oh. speedball. Yeah. How did, so? How did he die? Coke and H. Yeah. Oh, he shit. got a heroin charge on Sixth Street too. I heard about that. I think I heard about that like on a podcast or something. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That doesn't even make sense. So you're gonna do the up and the down combined? Yeah. That's wild. Oh, speedballing. 
I mean, I I've used smoked, to do it, but I've not in that each. form. That's crazy. Because I would, I would sip, drink, and do coke. <laughs> wow. Yeah, see, to me, yeah. that's always well. I guess that's the same that's thing. Crazy. Like, if you smoke weed and do coke, or Man, like if you smoke weed and drink alcohol, fucking out of this world. Yeah. Dark, did you have? Did you have to fight to stay awake? What on a drink? Yeah. Yeah, but with the coke, I'm straight. Yeah, I mean, it kind of does. I'm it does out. its job. Yeah, I'm mellowed out, man. But that that shit, man, that drink got me, like I was. It got me to like two. I mean, three forty five, three fifty. Shit. Yeah. Wow. I got. I was like three forty four. Yeah, man. I was wearing forty eight in the waist. God damn. Man, I remember when I was in the county, dog, the most embarrassing shit I ever experienced in my life was trying to do push ups and going down to do a push up in my Your belly. Your gut go first. And my yeah. belly touched the ground. And then I was, my arms, I could I did five push ups. My arms were so sore, I had, I had to. Oh, <laughs> damn, dude. I was, like, I was like, I've never been this fucking out of shape in my life. You know what I'm saying? Where you can have the 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 tech line on you and nobody notices. Yeah. It's like that's how fucking fat I was. That's hilarious. <laughs> he just looks like he's moving slow. That's it. Yeah, yeah man. Out of shape, out of breath. How'd you drop it? Jail. Oh. Yeah, I went I went there, man. We've come to the conclusion that like if Pat went to jail, he would be the best human. He would be Arnold in fucking yeah, eighty three. I'd, I'd get healthy. Yeah, you would. I'd get healthy. But he don't do you nothing would. now. Like he doesn't do drugs or nothing. Yeah, oh, but he'd just be great. motivated. Stop drinking. Yeah, but you would yeah. you would you would be motivated to to, to work exercise. out to yeah. read. All yeah, y'all, read. All yeah, y'all's I read a lot, day. man. I still read a lot, but I read more than. But did did you, did you read a lot before you went to jail? Or no, man, the, 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 <laughs> the first book I ever read from cover to cover was this book. I forget who the author is. It was Dr. this Seuss? book called uh, <laughs> uh, Makes Me Want to Holler. Yeah, holler. yeah. I, I forget Who's who the author Who's that, Master P? <laughs> Nah. Just make him say, huh? Look, dude, Marvin, we've been talking about drugs Marvin. so much. I was like, this is a comedy podcast. I have some Marvin Gaye is the one who sung that song, Made Me Want to Holler. Oh, it, was, yeah. it wasn't called that. It was called uh, Inner City Blues. That's what. It, but that verse in there was, Made Me Want to Holler. Um, Whistle it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Is it? That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. He's on it. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Some That's Jake but Karaoke's so, right here. So that was the first one you read in jail? No, nah, no. Nah, that was the first book that I ever read on my own. Oh, on your own. Yeah, back front to back. Okay, yeah. okay. But being in jail made you like more like. Okay. Well, it tightened you up. What man. was your day to day activities? activities? What were your day to day activities when you were when you were in? We're gonna answer answer this one first. <laughs> My daily activities was getting up in the morning. I kind of I do that today. I get up in the morning. Uh, I pray, meditate. Um, at the time in prison, I was doing uh, push ups, stuff like that, exercising in the morning. And uh, I even got up to like I was able to do a thousand in like forty five minutes. Um, thousand now, pushups? Yeah. Now I'm at I'm at like five five six hundred five six hundred pushups. God damn. Yeah. So I went from there, but you know I was a lot thinner. The the uh, diet was different, and then I just go throughout my day, and that's kind of how I do it now. You know I try to read something. I try to read something, learn something. even, if, even learn if it's something. like a daily devotion or a daily meditation yeah, yeah. or something like that. I can't try to keep that with me the whole time because life's gonna happen, and then I don't want I don't want my what happened at eight o'clock in the morning to fuck up my entire day. Mm. Yeah, you know that makes I sense. I won't be though. able to enjoy the rest of the day if I'm steady focused on. Oh man, I went to my nine o'clock appointment. This motherfucker went there. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And I would have missed that on, yeah, a beautiful opportunity. You mm -hmm. drop the ball, you know? but you got to focus on the next play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bro, like, I'm good at, like, if something fucked up at 8, I'm good at leaving it at 8.05. Okay. So By 8.06, like I already done moved on. Is that because you have ADHD? Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, mm -hmm. it, I found out, like, ways to make it beneficial to me. How do you, how, how do you, um, what are your study habits like? 
Study. I'm 36, yeah. bro. I'm you study. don't study. You graduate already. If you get mad around, I mean, like you don't you don't see nothing else in life that you like. Oh, let me figure out the mechanics on such and such. I wish I had that, bro. I don't. No. I mean, bro. I just give me a good bag I mean, of weed. But, I'll read but, a book. But you had. I mean, how how the fuck did you put this podcast together if you never just like? Yo, this is Patty 101. Pat asked me. No, I did it. Do it. Pat, <laughs> Patty, <laughs> what I'm saying, like, how Patty's the brains behind study, the whole operation. How did you just? I put I, this together? I study oh. subliminally. Okay. I do Whatever it. Like, it's all man. it's all accidental. Like before, like I'm like, oh yeah, I do know how all this, this stuff got the, works. Uh, bladder of a three year old. Diabetes, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, man. He says he don't have it, but give that guy Ozempic. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like it just happens. Like I, I I do. I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube. If it wasn't for YouTube, man, like I wouldn't yeah. know how to do anything. I learned how to tie yeah. a tie on YouTube. Like yeah, it's ridiculous too. how much I learned from YouTube about all all this stuff. And it's not even like the best of it. Like it could be better, but. I just learned like the bare minimum and I just coast on that. Okay. Which maybe is a bad thing. Now that I say it out loud, I was like, man, that's pretty shitty. But uh, yeah, I just, I study enough to know enough and then just coast. Hmm. But you're like, your, your thirst for knowledge is like ongoing, ongoing. Yeah, yeah. It's, See, it's, I don't, you know, and, and it can be the weirdest thing, man. And I can just, find an interest in something i'm like well let me figure this out like my cousin man i was uh, when um one of my cousins was uh going got accepted to lsu right so i went down there they had a party for and one of my cousins we was talking and um when i was like he's like what's that i was like it's a candle um i'm gonna give to valencia for graduation and her going to lsu and he said man what make you uh, want to make a candle, and I was like, I don't fucking know. I was like, I just get bored or get interested in something. And it's like, how can I do this? Mm-hmm. And it's like, right now, man, everything is so wide open. And <clears throat> why can't I find interest in a fucking candle? You know, mm-hmm. just like yeah. we were talking about earlier, me waking up in the morning and singing and whistling. You know, it's just me, and I've come to a point in my life right now. This is who I am. You know, um, you left that out on the softest thing about you is candle making. Candle making is uh, pretty. That's that's right. I would have added that. I would have added that. Is it that's scented? Uh, is it yeah, scented yeah, candles? Yeah, yeah. Scented? Yeah. Soft. Yeah, soft. Yeah, that's soft. Yeah. What, what was it? What was the scent? Yeah. I mean, when he came in, it was all dark and shit, and I had a candle going. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I peeped that shit. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Blew my blue <laughs> fucking <shit>. pause. <laughs> yeah. it's like, let me blow this real quick. Pause. <laughs> that's funny. Speaking of funny, I'm actually uh, curious to know. Like uh, your route, ra- your Mount Rushmore of like comedians, like Ooh. who, like oh, who do you, like is that, we we've never really we talked, talked about. about we talked about one of them already, which is Mitch Hedberg. Oh, okay, um, Scott Ramos and who else? <laughs> <laughs> you doing that shit? <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I would say up? Mitch Hedberg, um, Patrice O'Neal, God. Yes. Um, okay. God damn. Gallagher. Uh, fuck no. I was kidding. You got to hear Gallagher and Patrice go at it. It's funny. I've never known about this. It's so good. It's on the radio. This guy, this guy, it's kind of controversial with this dude right here. Louie. But Louis. Billy Crystal. Really? I've it's fucking one of amazing. Specials. I've seen one of his specials. He did a special? Kid. I seen yeah. like an HBO, HBO shit. Yeah. 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 I remember Billy that. Crystal was fucking amazing. Dude, that's so crazy you say that. I remember being like a young kid seeing this shit on like yeah. HBO and I was like, this is hilarious. But but the thing about Billy Crystal is he did so well on screen that people totally forgot that this motherfucker yeah. grabbed his mic. That's kind of like Steve Martin, right? Steve Martin. I knew he did the live aid or like, yeah. not the live, but the one uh, comic relief. Yeah, with uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Goldberg and him, yeah. Robin God, Williams, uh, Billy yeah. Crystal. I knew they did that. Robin that Williams, was, Robin Williams was was fucking amazing too, though. Like, but like Whoopi Goldberg wasn't. And, a and I don't, know, like I don't, a, I don't know why jokes still and always is attached with Robin Williams because it's like even without that, Robin Williams is still an amazing motherfucker. The delivery itself, Robin Williams yeah, himself, because he got he got the ability to morph into any fucking Mark. thing. <laughs> Bro, the shit I heard was like Mark, Mark think, and Minnie? Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. oh, no, that's an old ass show, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. remember. I, I, I was he the alien? Like the alien? Yeah, yeah. 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 you said it, Nanu, I, like Nanu. I didn't catch. I didn't catch you said Mark though. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't catch it. <laughs> but like, this is what I thought. Like, I heard like on like maybe like an old ass like Joe Rogan or some shit. It was like you from the south, you from the west, I'm from the east, and you're from the north. 
Like they would all work together and be like, well, you only go to the south, you only go to the east, so then we'll all share our own shit. Someone's got a premise. And everyone would do it because yeah. there was no overlapping. Oh, they were like, you take Before this to your territory. You're already I'll going here. To my yeah. Go, yeah. Yeah. I gave Jeevan Ally Akbar last night. I was like, listen, you take it, kid. I'm not going to. You gave it to him? <laughs> did he take it? Yeah. Pause. I see what you did there. You gave buddy. it to him when he took it? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of my favorite Robin Williams stories is like, I was watching a documentary and his manager was like, on this tour with him. He's like, on this tour, some date, we're going to record the special. And he's seen Robin do this hour for like weeks and weeks. And one day, Robin was like, tonight's the night. It's a special. And he said, Robin went out there and did a whole new hour. Was, oh, wow. Never heard the hour before. And that was a special. And I was like, that's insane. First yeah. time at, like ever. Yeah. Never. That's yeah. so wild to me. Yeah. So wild to me. See, but it's shit like that. But, but it was just He like, had to have had done, done it. it. You know like, what I mean? He had just such high energy. Like, you know what He mean? could have never like, not done it. He just, I don't know how. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he said I, he yeah. never I, I, I even study. I tried to find out why Robin Williams killed himself. I know he was broke. I think, I I think it was. Dude. I think it was like year three of doing stand up. Well, I understood. <laughs> oh, if you can make it past two years, yeah, that's what. People no, say. no, no. <laughs> the fact that that being at a certain level and and needing this gratification and all yeah, this yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, stuff, yeah, it was yeah. like it, he was no longer able to do it. It was like fuck it. This is what I look. Yeah, you take it. Yeah, They're like fuck it. You know what I'm saying? God damn, um, dude. I'm I went past. This is a comedy podcast. <laughs> this has been like a real one, man. Like you brought like a lot of information to real you. Uh, what I, uh, here's what I want to wrap it up with. Like, cause like you seem like you did mention that you did have like these soft parts. You whistle. You make candles. But uh, <laughs> I wear a sock in these shoes. You wear you wear cute grouch, socks. Cute socks. Hey, cute is a tough one, dog. Hey, yeah. pause. <laughs> but like, Grouchy so like. Sockies. To get on to get on stage and stuff, for the most part, you gotta like switch it off to like not be that tough guy or whatever. Like, how hard of the transition I'm not was a that? Tough guy. Real okay. Well, I thought you. I mean, you talk. You just like to rob less tougher guys. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy? No offense. I was fucking rob the fuck out of this bitch. <laughs> no man, it's not. He walks around with a smile. No, but you like say, you saying, how do I? Because like, I turn it off and go up there. Because like you have to like be like a kind of like a self-deprecating, kind of goofy, kind of like. Uh, I think the self-deprecation comes in where I don't really give a fuck if you understand me or not. Okay. This is just who I am. We were talking about before you that. got here. He said he's like the one thing you can say is that I, I'm truthful. Yeah. He's like, I'm giving you my truth at least. Yeah. He's like, I don't give a fuck if you like it or not, but at least I'm being truthful. Yeah. When you started, did you ever like try like, okay, let me do the wild thing, let me do the energy thing? Or are you just I, always I done that? Like, because of I was dealing with so much at the time where like I was saying earlier, is like the therapy is there. Where it starts with the writing. Because with the writing, you kinda well with me, it's like I'm writing this out. And I'm writing out all the details, mm. all the nastiness. And then when I look back and I read it, and it's like, oh, it would be funny if this happened. Oh, it'd be funny if that happened. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it's all it's all the truth. That's for I can't forget it. Every every joke starts with the basis of truth. Yeah. Mm. So it's like you know, with that, when I when I go on stage, and when you write about so many different topics. It's like whatever I feel like when I go on stage, this is what I'm gonna say. Mm. Do you, you know? write on stage ever? Yeah. I, how? Be because I mean, you're you're just, a funny it's, dude in conversation. Like a, it's though. like a, a a reflex. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a person's trying to talk over you. You know, like I just recently dropped the clip where where people were talking. I'm trying to do this bit, and it's like, whoa, man, they're fucking loud, right? They don't. They don't use. They never heard of an indoor voice. Like you right there. Like you right there. It's like yeah. why? Why are you yelling and you right there? Um, yeah. You can whisper, motherfucker. Like, brush some your people, teeth. Some people don't know like, how to brush whisper. Brush your teeth so you it's can that whisper. Drink. Yeah. Even the whispers yeah. are loud. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. It's sad, it, but, but I, I. I mean, I didn't mean to mess. If I messed up the podcast. No, no, no. Not no, messed up. Not messed up at all. Not messed up at all, man. Those are Pat's words. We're glad to have. On. I didn't mean to mess up. This is fucking fun. You, yeah, you dude, did. No, we could seriously. I could seriously sit here and talk to you for hours, bro. This is yeah, crazy. yeah, you're an interesting yeah. cat, dude. I thought you were no offense. I mean, this by no offense at all. I thought you were older than what you are because all the stories that you have, like you oh, lived okay. a life. Well, I'm glad it, it, it went the way it went because I'd have been bored as 
was fucking with us talking about stand up this whole time. <laughs> Not the whole time, but just like yeah, we do like to like, or I do like to like put in jokes here Wait, and there, whatever. Going but. back to that, you you got one more on the goat. Uh, Mount Rushmore. You oh said. yeah, yeah. You get three. You had Billy uh, Crystal. You had uh, Patrice, and then you had Mitch. Uh, Mitch. Mitch so last one, uh, Corey Holcomb, man. Corey Holcomb, really? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Love it. That motherfucker is unreal. He's funny. He's Corey Holcomb, he's so weekend. fucking funny to me. Yeah, he's in Houston this weekend. I'll probably go tomorrow night. I don't you go slide? Damn, just slide to Houston. Yeah, That's I just cool. got my passport, man. I went to Houston twice. You don't need like, a passport <laughs> in Houston. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I, I was. <laughs> He's a passport, you let bro. me land, motherfucker. <laughs> you let me land and finish my goddamn <laughs> You said if you let me land. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I going to rob you. <laughs> no, but I had to go to Houston to get my passport. So I was trying to get it in one day, and I was trying to go Monday and get it. And they were like, oh, you got to come back tomorrow. And I was like, fuck. I gotta come back tomorrow, and I had to go back. I got to Tuesday, man. I got my passport. Yeah, so yeah, Colombia, here I come. There you go. You gonna be a passport, bro? Oh, yeah, running through them right. holes in Colombia. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gonna be running through them holes in Colombia? Running through them holes in Colombia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I go to Colombia, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you landed, man. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, anything you want to promote? Anything you want to? I keep thinking we are freezing. When we're just sitting still, I was like, oh, fuck, we froze again. But uh, yeah, to wrap it up, anything you want to promote? Um, it's come out probably by Wednesday or Thursday. This week. Nah, man, I don't have anything. I don't. How can people Book find Lando. you? Book Lando. How can people find uh, you? Go to my Instagram, uh-huh. man, uh, at Funny Man Shep. That's S H E P. Like, follow. Yeah, man, definitely go go to some of that old shit, man. I got got some old shit on there, man, that I really like. Yeah, people need to see that old shit. I need to get my clips up. I need to get my my following up. Hell yeah! I'm gonna Check out Lando. Lando's funny as show. Fuck. Lando fucks me like, up. Hey man, follow me. I see dudes do that. I'm like, uh, you gotta do that stuff. It's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. But you see, you you're like a, just laid. You're laid back. Yeah, you're laid back uh, stuff. Yeah, you're smooth. Yeah. You like, feel me? Buy my shit. That's what I'd be like. Buy yeah. my shit. Yeah. Help me pay this high ass light bill. Yeah. Check out my candles. Yeah. You know? Check out wait, my- wait, real quick. I forgot to pay my light bill since March 20th. Oh. Damn. Up until now. Uh huh. What I tell you, kid? Hey, you guess how much my bill was? How much? 310. 310? Yeah. Damn, dude. Uh, my shit was more than that. I keep this bitch month. at 80 when I'm not here. And I'm not here. Duh. Bro. My shit was like three, <laughs> only put hundred bucks three, on it. Three seventy five last month. Yeah, but you have wait. Do you have an apartment? No, it's a house. Patty, do you, you have got? a one bedroom house? No. <laughs> What's your address? I wish. <laughs> I mean, I, I ain't wish. got a patio, dog. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> I wish, goddamn it, them kids keep coming back. <laughs> I was like, man, if I get a smaller spot, man, they probably, we can't go we'll to be roommates. House. We, we sure can't go to dad's house. They keep coming back. They're like, oh, my room is exactly how I left it. Yeah. Just walk in there. I'm like, bitch, I ought to get a woman or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you got coming up? Uh, at mall underscore liquor underscore poppy. Uh, big Clay, Big Benefit, 919. 919. Oh, hell yeah. RIP. Hell okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, like uh, Jakey Five underscore on Instagram, like Scott said, uh, August nineteenth, uh, September nineteenth. I'm sorry, eight p.m. Uh, Upstage Comedy Lounge. I'll be hosting the Big Clay Show. Benefit all the proceeds go to Lauren in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, um, man, we miss That's you. It's a nine nineteen. It's a Thursday. We're up. I got one more spot open, kid. You want a shot? It's going to be dope. I don't know. I'm trying to see. Uh, Next Friday, uh, August the 30th, we're going to be with Hank Garza at the Alamo City Roast Battle. Tandem. Shout out to Tandem. Shout out to Noah Masters, too, for just letting us graciously use his venue. Dude, shout out to Tandem, the whole crew at Tandem. Noah's a fucking king. Shout out to Sky. Yeah, man. We love you. We appreciate y'all for letting us uh, have shows there, man. And then the following week after that, uh, September 6th, I'll be with uh, Mexicana, all the all the cool cats at the Mexicana. Shout out uh, C. Wayne, shout out Jamil, shout out uh, Danny with the I. We're going to be doing that. That's going to be cool. Um, and then the station's making a comeback. Uh, fingers crossed on the 6th as well, too. So we'll be there. Um, and yeah, Jakey5 underscore on Instagram. Patty? Uh, yeah, August 31st, I got a headlining show at Arenas Marquis something. Uh, the ticket links are on the babacocore.com. That's August 31st doing a headlining show. 
Uh, August 5th, I'll be at Upstage doing the uh, Debo's Comedy Heads uh, Showcase. Uh, September 11th, got Hot Damn Comedy Show at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. Hell yeah. Please get those tickets. It's a fire lineup. I'm trying to build that as much as I can. Hot Damn Comedy Show at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club, September 11th. Uh, I'll be back at Upstage for the Big Clay thing on the 19th, September 19th. Uh, then uh, the 20th, I'll be in San Marcos at a place called Kissing Tree. I don't think that's a private gig. Hopefully it's a, to the public, but I'll let you know. Uh, I'll put ticket links on there. Downtown, I'll be downtown on the 21st doing a spot uh, that I'll announce later. I guess i got to get that. Laredo, Laredo, please. September 27th, I will be in Laredo. Uh, the, the location will be revealed shortly, uh, but just uh, and hopefully ticket links. But Laredo, just know I'm coming to your town. Uh, get a headline on the September 27th. Don't and, 9-11 uh, is 927. What's up? Don't 9-11 is 927. Go ahead. Bubblecocore.com, <laughs> uh, IG and Facebook, at your homie Pat. I'm on X or Twitter or whatever, but I don't really be active on that. I'm on TikTok, too. Everything's at your homie Pat. Uh, help me get those numbers up. Help me get bookers to pay attention to what I'm doing. Bubblecocore.com, and we'll see ya. I, I just found the show that I'm on. Oh, go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Yeah, get it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be at um, Hudson Bend. What is this? Uh, on August 21st at 8 p.m. It's 31st. August 31st. August 31st. I'll be at Hudson Bend, man. It's, the address is 5220 Hudson Bend, Austin, Texas, 78734. Uh, it seems to be a free show. I don't really like that, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> the headliner is going to be my homeboy, DJ Vasquez. Hell yeah. Sam Narani is going to be hosting. I'm going to be your feature. I'll be talking crazy. It's going to be fun, man. Come out. Do yourself a favor and check out Lando, y'all. Completely worth it. Check him out. Yo, man. for real. My man is fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's smooth with it. And he makes candles. It's nice. <laughs> there he is with the candles. I make candles. All right, we'll check you later. Check us out. Peace. Bam, bam.